Hello everyone, in today's class we will learn how we can install MySQL in our computer. First of all, open any browser, in my case I am using Google Chrome. Then in URL type www.mysql.org, it takes you to the MySQL website. Find out your version MySQL, the latest version right now is 8.0, so we will just click on download now. It takes us to the next page. Now, in order to install, just have to go directly to the download page. We'll click on go to download page button. It takes us to the download page. We'll choose the operating system. Right now it is Windows, so it shows by default Microsoft Windows. And we can select the MSI installer, the size 25.5 MB, and click on download button. It takes us to the next page where it asks us to either log in or sign up, but we can skip it. By using no thanks, just start my download link. Click on it. Once you click on it, you will get a window that will ask you to save your downloadable file. Just select the path. In my case, I am selecting the desktop and click on save. It will start downloading, and this may take a while depending upon the speed of your internet. Once it is downloaded, we we'll just go to the desktop. That's what the location we have used to save this installer. We'll double click on it. It will start installing. It may ask you for the different user controls depending on the security features. We'll just click on yes every time. Then we'll select the developer default, click on next, just click on execute. These are the list of additional files. These additional files may be required if it is not installed in your system before installing MySQL 8 version. All these products may be downloaded. This may take a while depending on the speed of your internet. During installation, this may ask you about different options. Just always give the Response in positive, choose what all checkboxes are provided and click on install or yes. So almost everything is installed. Whatever options are left on the users are specified with the status manual. So the return manually it can be installed. So we will move further by clicking on the next button. Please ask us what or more product requirements have not been satisfied. So we'll click on yes. Then it will list out all the products which are ready to install and download. We'll click on execute further. It will start downloading and installing. It will also show the progress over here. How much percentage is completed. You can also choose show details in order to see the details of the operation being executed. Or you can hide it. This will take a while depending on the speed of your internet and speed of your device. As the contents are downloaded, you will get this status as downloaded. But all contents will be downloaded first, followed by installation. Once all the components are downloaded, then the installation will continue. The installation will keep on installing all the components one after other. This will take a while depending on the performance of your computer system. Once all components are installed, you will get a status complete in all the components. After that, click on next button, followed by again next, then choose standalone MySQL server or classic MySQL application. Next, again click on next for the type and the networking. The authentication method will be use strong password encryption for authentication. It is by default. Keep it as it is. Just click on next. Then write down MySQL root password. That is 12345. In my case, I am giving. Again, repeat the password. It may show you 2B. So you can set up a password. A strong one, which is a combination of the alphabets, numbers and characters. Click on next. Then for the Windows service, just by default select it, standard system account, just keep it as it is. And finally click on execute in order to complete the configuration. 
you will get all the options executed one by one and what all configuration steps are executed you will get a green tick and once you get a green tick for all the components that means you have successfully installed mysql 8.0.21 version in case you get red tick or a cross sign that means there is some problem during installation so you need to uninstall your mysql entirely and you need to repeat the entire process at the end once you get all the green ticks for the configuration steps just click on finish the next followed by finish type as a password you have supplied once you get connection succeed message that means you have successfully installed 8.0.21 on your computer system click on next and then finally execute you should get green tick for both of these components this is the last and the final step of mysql installation so just click on finish once we get all green ticks configuration setups so installation is complete the installation procedure has been completed and then we can untick this one if you don't want to start a workbench or the shell after this setup. Click on finish. That's all about installing MySQL 8.0.21 version on the Windows operating system. After installation, you can check your MySQL by searching MySQL. You will get different options. You can get a MySQL workbench that is the GUI in order to deal with the databases of MySQL and you can also use command line client just click on it it will ask you to enter the password just type the password you have supplied earlier once you get this prompt that means you have successfully installed MySQL 8 version and it's ready to use 